name is Rob Barrett and you're watching Cooking for Dads. Today I'm going to show you literally how you can make a million dollars one million dollars by making pizza at home. Uh, you're going to save so much money over ordering it out from Papa John's and I'll show you the math bit by bit. But this is better pizza. You can have it done in under an hour so it's uh, almost faster. And literally you can become a millionaire by doing this recipe. I'll show you how. Here's how you make pizza in under an hour. Now, we did an early, early, early video of how to make pizza when I was just getting started. Hold it over, push it down. You're gonna do this for 10 minutes. And just to be honest, it's really embarrassing to watch and it takes like 20 minutes. Our dough has risen. It has risen indeed, yeah. All right, start by getting one cup of hot water. It's about 105 degrees to be exact. Add two spoonfuls of yeast, just a little bit of sugar. Stir that together. Let that sit for five minutes. It should foam up just like this. If it doesn't foam up, you gotta start again. Your water wasn't the right temp. Then in a large bowl, get three cups of flour. One thing you never wanna do is take your cup and scoop that out with the flour. You wanna take another smaller scoop and lightly put it in, otherwise you'll get too much flour. So three cups of flour, one spoonful of salt, one spoonful of sugar, and one spoonful of olive oil. You can stir that together. And then you're gonna add your yeast and water mixture and stir that together. Once that's put together, you're gonna to put that out on the countertop and knead that for between five and seven minutes. You're just gonna fold it over, push it down. Fold it over, push it down. If it's too sticky, which it often is, just add a little bit of flour. And if it's too dry and crumbly, add a little bit of extra water. So you see that? As is often the case, this dough is a little too wet, a little too sticky. We're gonna add a couple more spoonfuls of flour so that it just doesn't stick to your hands. But this is what it should look like and feel like when you're done. After seven minutes, you're gonna form that into a ball, put that back into the bowl, coat it with just a little bit of olive oil, coat the bowl with some plastic wrap, poke some holes in it, and let it sit for 30 minutes. It should rise and double in size. All right, half an hour's gone by. You can see that it's double the size of what it started as. While that's rising, you can watch TV, or you can get all your toppings together. And we're gonna just make a pepperoni pizza today because that's what we're gonna compare it with price-wise from Papa John's. Although this recipe will make two. But if you make two pizzas and don't order two pizzas, you'll see the math goes through the roof. So when your dough is done, cut it into two pieces, get some parchment paper on a, on a baking sheet, take one big piece of dough, and I'm just gonna kinda stretch it out in my fingers first this my circle get it started put it right in the middle then I'm gonna get my rolling pin and roll that out to the equal size of a Papa John's large pizza 16 inches you can roll up the edges here a little bit like this if you want to get that kind of Italian look All right next thing we're gonna do is sprinkle it with a little kosher salt and we're gonna take our pasta sauce, I just use basic straight pasta sauce. And get a couple scoops of that, spread that around. Okay, we're gonna take our mozzarella cheese and sprinkle that on our pizza. This is about two cups worth of cheese that we put on here. And that's about right. See how you can see some of the sauce still in there? You don't wanna overdo it with the cheese, otherwise you'll get a soggy crust and then put on your pepperonis. Lastly, we're just gonna give it just a little splash of olive oil on the top, and we are done. This is gonna go into the oven at 450 degrees, right in the middle, for about seven minutes. So if you're not gonna use this right away and not make two pizzas, all you're gonna do is grab it, form it into a, a ball, put it on a plate, hit it with a little olive oil, coat it, that helps it keep from getting a crust. Then we're gonna put plastic wrap over it, put it in the fridge, and it'll be good probably for two or three days. Just like that, there you go. That's just perfect. Nice and brown on top of the cheese. There we go. So that's how you make homemade pizza in under an hour, and it's really good. And here's how you can become a millionaire by doing it. If you call Papa John's right now and have delivered to your house this same pizza, pepperoni pizza, 
with a 10% tip, it costs $18.69. This pizza costs $2.41. So that saves you $16.28 every time you make this. If you take that money and put it aside once a week, you will be able to save $70.55 each month. If you take that money and put it in the mutual fund, it's based on an index or whatever, and if you make 10.9%, which is what the Standard & Poor's makes every decade, at the end of 45 years, so you start when you're 20, start young, and then finish when you're 65, at the end you will have $1,026,772. Now, that's just for one pizza. Most people order two pizzas. If you do two pizzas and you put that money aside at 10.9%, you will have $2,053,546. Now, if you do it at 12% like Dave Ramsey does, you have like $3 million. So that's how you can become a millionaire and make homemade pizza and have everyone be happy all at once. I'm Rob Barrett. You're watching Cooking for Dads. Cook well. It is worth it. Mm. Mm. Better. Better than the, the store one. Okay, so you have one and a half cups of flour, that's 15 cents. Salt, sugar, and olive oil, five cents. Yeast is five cents. Mozzarella is 90 cents. The sauce is 17 cents. The pepperoni, 20 pepperonis is 68 cents. Parchment paper, a penny. And then the gas and the heat is 10 cents. Now I spend a lot of time measuring all these things out and weighing them and then researching what they cost. So that number, 241 per pizza, is actually very accurate. So you can bank on that.